clearly. He is speaking to us again in this service. Now, I want us to go and clear the way. We will go and worship the King with our substance. With our time, with our time, we pay our tithes. We give our offerings. Everybody who is born again, a disciple of Jesus, we are faithful in partnership with God. So if you need your tithe, you stretch your hand from where you are, and somebody will walk to you. If you are writing a check, write it to Restoration International Churches. And if you are paying through uh, the form, go to M-Pesa. And then go to pay bill. And the pay bill number will be 74 841. Did you get the number? 741. 841. Let's be good partners with God. And our Father remains faithful. Amen. Amen. Now, in our giving, those who are coming forward. There are two offering baskets here. They don't come to you. You come to them. So those on this side, you come to the side. And those on this side, you come to the side. Let's go and honor God with our King. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We ask that you bless them. Minister to each one of them. As they go to their church, be with them. Together with your teachers. We thank you. We speak a protection upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. For we pray this through Christ our Savior. Amen. God bless you. Last Sunday, I was not with you. I was in Western Kenya. 
We had a conference with the Quakers. And God is moving in Western Kenya. I've gone there about three times now. The other time we were in Kaimose. This time we were in Kakamega town. And the Lord was gracious to be with us. We had a testimony of people who came to the meeting sick. But the Lord healed them. We want to bless the Lord. We convert your prayers. Let's keep praying for the mission as we march forward to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to clear everything so that now we hear the word. We will suspend everything so that we hear the word. I'm itching to hear what God has to say. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me see by a show of a hand how many people are there in the first service. Wow. Put it down. God bless you. How many of you are not? You are not there. Let me see your hand. So that I see how I'm praying for you. That one there. Okay. Beautiful. You are in for another service. You're welcome. The man of God labored in the first service. And those who were here, will agree with me, we were blessed. Most of the time has come a couple of times. And this time again, the Lord has used him to minister to us. So I want to allow him to come and speak what Jehovah has impressed on him. This afternoon, we will be moving to Mulalongo. There is another meeting again for another church that requires our grace together with him. We will be there to the glory of the Lord. Let's put our hands together and we'll see the name of God. Praise the Lord. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to honor God this afternoon for the opportunity He has given me to stand in the presence of these great people and uh, to be part of what God is doing in this place. And I want to honor God for the angel of this house. Our bishop. Bishop Richard. Let's appreciate him with a good clap. Uh, let's turn to the book of 1 Timothy chapter number 5. That's almost good there. Eh? It's very powerful. The Lord is echo. 1 Timothy chapter 5. For those who are watching us online, this is Restoration International Churches. We are situated here in Siokimau. A place where God lives. Did you got it? Alright. Let the elders who rule well counted worthy of double honor. Underline the word double honor. Especially those who labor in the world and doctrine. For the scripture says, 
you shall not muzzle an ox while it treads. Kwa maana ndiko lasema usimufunge kinywa ng'ombe apurapo nafaka. And the laborer na tena mtendakazi is worthy of his wages. Astahili ujira wake. Do not receive an accusation against an elder except from two or three witnesses. Usikubali mashtaka juu ya mzee ila kwa vinywa vya mashahidi wawili au au watatu. Judges chapter number 15. Waamuzi 15. Judges chapter number 15. Waamuzi 15. Verse number nine. Now the Philistines went up and camped in Judah, Tisa, and it. deployed themselves against Lehi. And the men of Judah said, "Why have you come against us?" So they answered, "We have come up to arrest Samson to do to him as he has done to us." The 3000 men of Judah went down to the cleft of the rock of a town and say to Samson Do you not know that the Philistines rule over us What is this you have done to us and he said to them As they have done as they did to me so I have done to them So but they say to him we have come down to a rescue we have come down to are you together pamoja we have come down to rescue and the men of judah said we have uh, we have so they answered we have come to arrest you samson then 3000 men do you not know that the philistines rule of us okay to do to me as they have done verse number 12 But they said to him We have come to arrest you that we may deliver you into the hand of the Philistines Then Samson said to them Swear to me that you will not do what kill me yourself So they spoke to him saying No but we will just die you securely We will just tie you securely and deliver you into their hand but we will surely not kill you and they bound him with the two new ropes and brought him up to the brook to the rock when he came to lay him the Philistines came shouting against him when the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him and the ropes that were on his hands became like flax that it that it burnt with fire and his bones broke loose from his hands he found a fresh jawbone of a dog reached out in his hand and took it and killed a thousand men with it praise the lord then samson said with the jawbone of a donkey hips upon hips With the jawbone of a donkey I have slain a thousand men. And so it was when it had finished speaking that he threw the jawbone from his hand and called that place Ramath Lehi. Somebody say amen. What was your name? I don't know if the, our interpreter is going to read that or we just go on. All right. Hallelujah. What does it feel? I want you just to write something down in your notebook. Kependa uandike kitu chini katika kitabu chako. Honoring fathers. Kuwaheshimu akina baba. And I will begin by saying that fathers fathers nitaanza kwa kusema kwamba akina baba are ground breakers. Wao ni wafunjaji ama watengenezaji a inji fathers are always pairs setters wao ni waweka ama ni wakutia misingi fathers they are door breakers wao ni wakuuzi ile milango and at the same time fathers 
They are seed carriers. That is why you find that your father determines how far you can go. Because your father is your feathers. Praise the Lord. So honor reveals character. It shows approval. It is a great, it is being grateful and also it is respect. But dishonor is to this day to put down to be little and even to insult. And that is why this honor can be as a result of anger. Provocation is bitterness. The Bible says that the fathers don't give room to your sons. To dishonor you through your own examples. Ephesians chapter 6. The Bible says that children obey your parents in the law. For this is right. Honor your father and mother. For this is the right. For this is the first commandment. With a promise. Now every time I teach on the subject of the mystery of the soil. I always stress that there is a possibility that God made the fathers to become the custodian of the riches of the land. Can I say that one again? The possibility is God made fathers to become the custodian of the riches of the land. That's why when you dishonor your father and mother at the same time, the Bible says that the first commandment with the promise will not be applicable with you so it means that it will not be well with you. Praise the Lord. It can never be well when you dishonor your father. That's why your honor to your father is an investment to your future. Praise God. Your father is your favor. At the same time, your father is your cover. Praise the Lord. In 2 Kings chapter number 4, there is a widow who cries out to Elisha. In fact, it is 2 Kings chapter 4, 1, 2, 3. The Bible says that, and they cried out one of the wives of the son of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, my husband, your servant, is dead. And you know that he feared the Lord, but the creditor has come to take his two sons. Now look here. The husband is dead, but the husband was a son. Praise the Lord. The husband was not a prophet. He was a son of the prophet. But his father, Baba Yake, be a Nabi. 
Van a suesa. So the woman Mwanamke is the daughter in law to the prophet. Yeye ni yule mume ama ni mume ambaye ni mume ni mke wa mume wa yule nabii. Can I have three people to come here very quickly? Men, men, we are here men. men. Can I have three men to come here for me? Mume watatu waje quickly. Three men, three men for mume watatu, mume watatu. Three men. Come quick. I want to show you something. All right. So who is El Dali among you? Okay, tuheshimu tuheshimu kipaka kike. Tuheshimu mafuta. Hii ni mafuta sio hiyo unataka kusema wewe. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, sit. All right. Uh-huh. You stand here the two of you. All right, let me have one person. My friend come. Ndio rafiki yangu. The one who was leading the service come like one who was ibada ndio. Now sasa can I have one sister? Naweza kuwa na pindi mmoja. Very quickly we do this thing we continue. We have got a lot to cover this morning. One no, sister. Ya kufanya, one mama mama. 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 All right. The woman one of them she's the wife of the son of the prophet. Yeah yeah ni mke wa mume wa nabii. We will assume tutaweza that this is the son who died. Kwamba huyu ndiye mwana aliyekufa. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. This one was a son. Huyu alikuwa ni mwana. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. But when he comes into the house, na kisha anapokuja katika nyumba, he is no longer a father in his own house. Yeye ni sio baba katika nyumba yake. He is a son to the prophet. Yeye ni mwana kwa nabii. Praise the Lord. When he is in his own house with the wife, he is a father to his son. But when he comes to his father's house, he is a son in the house. But his father who is a prophet is a father to the son. Praise the Lord. Bishop, there is something God spoke to me. You know, the Bible doesn't tell us that the prophet died. The prophet said that the son of the prophet died. But the father, the Bible doesn't say that the late prophet, he says that he was the son of the prophet. Which means the possibility is the old man might have buried his own son. Praise God. And when his son who is a prophet died, he left his wife who has to take care of his two sons. Listen to this. Now you can go. Now the son of the prophet is not there. But the creditor has to come to take her two sons to become bondmen. They cannot become fathers because they are about to be taken into captivity. Now, the issue here is this. The problem is not to the widow. The problem is not to the son. No, the problem is not to the grandchildren. But the problem is the son who died. Maybe he did not have a relationship with his father. You ask me how? You ask me how? The reason is this. When the man died, it is the widow who is going to the prophet to inquire about how his sons are going to be liberated. Praise God. Church, this is how we lose it. We lose it the moment you disconnect from the source of your grace. Because you cannot collect from where you are not connected. Sometimes you find there are people who all of a sudden they disconnect.
correct. The man will be there with the oil. Hello, church. Kehansi was supposed to receive from Elisha. But Kehansi was there spiritually dead because he was not connected from the man who he was supposed to receive. A triple person. I pray in this house that the triple person that you're supposed to receive will not miss you out in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, somebody say amen. So the enemy is coming after sons because he understands that if they become men, they are going to liberate the family. Somebody say amen. So your relationship with your father determines what happens in your house. Okay, let me say this one, then I close. This window, when the prophet asked her, the prophet asked her, what do you have? The second question was, what do you have? What can I do for you? The window chose, not what do you have? What can I do for you? But what do you? All ladies in this house will agree with me. As a woman, when you have dealt with men, and you have been disappointed, your commitment becomes with the, your commitment with the draws from man. And you divert it into your children. It is only a foolish woman that will see her children going down and she will be there laughing. But the one whose commitment has been diverted, she will fight for them to the last breath. Praise God. See the way you are man, I'm up on the same. We will talk to the Mwisi. The man on the same. We will talk to the Watch our world. We are partner. They will deny because the woman is the one who understands the pain of her children. So the woman was asked, "What can I do for you? And what do you have in the house?" What was the answer? Your maid servant has got nothing except a little shop. Or what? Now, listen to this. The oil that she's talking about, it is not hers. See on fire. I don't know if these people are getting The oil that she's talking about, it is not hers. This oil belonged to that man who died. But because he never placed value into the oil, and the window only used to see it, she said this time around, let me talk about what the father of my kids used to have to see if it can become a solution. I came to prophesy to every man in this house, any oil that is in your house, may you not suffer in poverty, may you not suffer in struggle, may you not suffer in the name of Jesus. I declare today, if I be a man of God, the Lord will open up your eyes and you will see something that has been lying in your heart. The oil that was supposed to solve his problems, he died and left it. Hello? Hello? If you ask Bishop, I'll tell you, according to the Jewish culture, women were not allowed to handle oil things. It was for men. 
So if it was in the house, if it was for the father of his son, of her sons, but the source of the oil was from the prophet. Amen. Can I tell you something? You cannot just come to the prophet and tap it and stay with it. You have to learn to tap and multiply. Place the oil in motion so that the oil can become a solution. Because the oil that is not used, that oil stagnates. And the moment it stagnates, it becomes useless. And I see it. Clap your hands to them. Praise the Lord. So now we find that those who honor their fathers, they lengthen their days. And those that dishonor them, they shorten their days and lives. That is according to Ephesians 6 and Exodus chapter number 20 to 11. Now, you do not only have natural fathers. You also have a spiritual father. Now, who is a spiritual father? Number one, is a, a spiritual father is that person that God has put in your life to help you become all that God has ordained for you. Everybody lift up your hand and say, I am a product of someone. This man you see speaking to you here. This man smoked banky for eight years. I wish Wajakoya came those years. <laughs> How can he come now after I've left? This man, he pushed in Kokoteni for over 10 years. This man was a criminal. I have been jailed three times. Praise God. I became a guest of the state. My local administrator. He gave a recommendation letter to the police and said, This one is the notorious criminal that is troubling me. Don't let him out. The day Jesus got hold of me, and I got on again, I went back into my village. Even the administration officer made me to become an ambassador of the village to help him reduce crime. But you need to understand before I became, God sent me under somebody to raise me up. All of us, we must appreciate somebody has played a role for you to be who you are. In somewhere, the Bible says, I think this first Samuel chapter 30, whereby there were men who were in whereby they were men who were in distress. They were men who were in distress. They were in want. They were even speaking of stoning David. But the same same people after David had imparted them made them to become who they were. They were the same people that David that David who killed giants in the camp of David. 
And when the Philistines were at war again, with Israel, David and his servants went with him down. And fought against the Philistines. And David grew faint. Praise God. A man that has encouraged you when they are strong. Mtu ambaye amekutia moyo wakati ana nguvu usimshushe wakati yeye anakaa mdhaifu People are using what we want to be the heart that we were given mpono pale walipewa by the same man kupitia kwa yule mtu to slap him kuweza kumpiga kofi Praise God. When I see the Bible says, "Simply in a sema, the same men that did it, while I walked upon the wood, God when they were weak, and we were part of a country where people were faithful, because David thought that this time around, when the people were weak, it was a problem. I will go to war, the kind of people fight as if it is no more. The people are not going to come back away now. You know, some of us, if you could give us." a pulpit we will go even for hours and we say the holy spirit took over na tutasema kwamba roho mtakatifu alichukua shukani saa hii ukiutuambia 2 hours ikiisha hata 30 minutes maana because you cannot fight battles with the same strength at all times au wasi pigana vita na nguvu ile ile kwa majira yote but there has to be men lakini lazima kuwa na Kwa 
Vinaingia katika familia yako. When you are a man that is anointed for a mission, ukiwa wewe ni mtu ambao umepakwa mafuta kwa ajili ya tume, any deliverance you commit on a person, ukompozi wa inayoyota ambao unamwelekezea is an assignment for the demons to gather. Hiyo ni kazi ya mapepo kukusanyika. To come for retaliation. Kuja kuweza kukuandamisha. Praise God. Bwana sifiwe. David became what? Daudi akachoka. Are you there? Je upo pale? Are you there? Uko pale? Muko hapo? And verse number 16. And when Ishibino, Ishibino who was one of the sons of the giant. Wakati ule Ishibino ambaye alikuwa ni mmoja wa wana wa majitu. The weight of his bronze was 300 shekels. Kwa uzito wa wale sina yake ilikuwa ni shekel. Who was bearing a new sword. Huwa ana ule upanga. Thought he could kill David. Ili akaweza kumwangamiza Daudi. Remember this children of God. Kumbuka hii wana wa Mungu. Every giant you kill. Kila jitu apalo unalengana is the beginning. Ni mwanzo of the multiplicity of other giants. Kuongezeka kwa majitu mengine. Let me say this one way. Wacha niseme hivi hapo. Every place of your breakthrough. Kila mahali pa upenyezi wako is the beginning of the strategy of your another battle. Ni chanzo cha David has killed Goliath. Yahudi alikuwa amempiga Goliath. Is she know who is one of the giants? Is she know by the mmoja wa majitu? He came with a new sword. Akainuka na upanga because the other sword the woman of God. Ile kwa ni upanga was taken by David. Why kwa na kuru? Why he killed Goliath? Alipomua ni la wajado. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Kona bakana bakataka. Rita kaboko na bakala bakatana na mozembe makatana baza Do we have people in this house Who can become like a Bishai The Bible says the son of a Bishai A Bishai the son of Zuruwa Came to the aid of David And strike the Philistine And killed him Do we have a Bishai in this house Who can come to the aid of the anointed Who can come to the aid of the man of God when the devil is coming like a flood? The Abishai of the moment will be able to say, I will not let any weapon lifted up to this man, anointed one, to destroy him. Do I have Abishai in this house? Even the one lift up your hand. Abishai, I came to prophesy. The woman that can be able to go to the bank. And she will say, I will not let auctioneers auction the house of God. I'm clearing the deal. I am taking care of the deal. I'm playing the instruments. I'm replacing the amplifiers. Somebody share power. A Bishai should be people who should be able to die. Before you leave, remember the old man was not coming. 
coming to preach. He was not coming to do it just to say hello. So the chairman said, before you leave, there is something that the team of your grandchildren have prepared for you. So this is just small fuel. You can use to go back where you can. When the man looked into the envelope, eight seven key turkeys. The plan he will see this fence. Not because he had done anything. But because the sons had accepted to become problem solver in the house. I kept to prophesy today. Praise God. One time I remember we used to have a church in Kariobangi. And the pastor was a pastor from Kariobangi. I had no musical instrument. So a certain lady came to me after the service and she said, Pastor, God has put something in my heart. I thought maybe it's just the normal issues that people say. She told me I want you to wait for me here on Wednesday. I obeyed, I was in the office. She came with a uh, uh, this Honda, Honda. Akaja pamoja na gari na Honda. God had just blessed her with a new Honda. Mungu alikuwa amembariki na Honda. So she came to the office with an envelope. Bibi akaja kula visini na she said I want you to dedicate my. Akasema nataka kuitia work for her. But she went behind the boot. Akaenda kule nyuma kwenye boot. She pulled a box. Akaweza kutoa sanduku. I called my guys they put the boxes inside. Akawaita vijana wangu wakatia zile sanduku ndani. When they looked into the boxes. Ndipo tazama ndani ya zile sanduku. After she had locked. Baada ya kuondoka. We found there were drum sets. Tukapata kwamba palikuwa na microphone. Kulikuwa na pasa sauti amplifier. Kulikuwa na amplifier. She was in church. Alikuwa kanisa. She observed that here it has a need that was in the church. When you get into the house. You must understand that this is a place of battle. And there are things that if you become contented, the enemy is going to destroy our devils. But we must become a beside who are willing to go to the front line and say, I will not let the enemy destroy my anointed one. Somebody say, Amen. Somebody say, Amen. Say, number two. There was but beside the sun. Now there was. Now it happened afterward. There was again the battle with the Philistines at Gol. Then Shebuchai, who was one of the sons of the giant, again there was war at Gol. But Jerogi, the Bethlehemite, killed the brother of Goliath. The shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. It means that the brothers of Goliath will always improvise 
wataweza kukua na njia zingine on their weapon njia zingine za kutegeza sera zao hello hello the brothers of the philistines goliath no of philistine goliath they will always improve on their weapon of war wataweza tena kujifunza katika now this one he killed the brother of goliath huyo akamua ndugu ya goliath now yet again there was war at God. Where was the man of a great stature? He had six fingers. Six toes. He had 24 toes in number. He was born of the house of the gentle of the giant. But she made the brother of David. Killed him. Hello? Hello? Let me open your eyes on this one. Sometimes when God is using you to help, wakati mwingine Mungu anapokutumia kusaidia, also help your own. Hivyo saidia yule wako. Hello? Hello? When God is using you to help, wakati Mungu anakutumia kusaidia, also help your own. Hivyo saidia yule wako pia. It is the brother, the son to the brother of David. Ni mwana kwa ndugu ya Daudi who killed the giant. Ambaye alimuua ile the Bible says this four were born of the giant in Gath. Nimeleka sema kwamba hao wale walizaliwa pamoja na wale jitu kule Gath and fell by the hand of the Philistines. Wacha kuangushwa kwa mkono wa Philistine. So number 2, ya pili, spiritual fathers transfer wealth of knowledge. Baba wa kiroho wanaangukiza ama wana uh, wanaelekeza utajiri wa kiroho to their sons and daughters kwa wana wao na mapindi zao through the spirit of wisdom kupitia kwa roho wa hekima proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 methali 13:20 it says that if you walk with the wise you become wise sema kwamba ukiwa unatembea na mwenye hekima utafanyika mwenye hekima now sons sasa wana must guard against the spirit of jealous lazima wachunke kinyume na roho ya wivu dishonor kukosa kuheshimu his loyalty kukosa kuti betrayal kuweza kusaliti pride keburi against their spiritual fathers nyume na baba wao wa kiroho praise the lord bwana asifiwe you must protect your heart lazima ukaulinde moyo wako that you don't become an enemy ili usifanyike adui to the progress of your father kwa maendeleo ya baba yako You know, if my father buys a car, ikiwa baba wangu atalinunua gari, it is the pride of the family. Lile ama ile ni furaha ya familia. Hello? Hello? Number two, ya pili, at least the father our father, baba ambaye baba wetu, has graduated and helped us to break a barrier. Yeye amehitimu na ametusaidia kufunja so that we don't own bicycles and okadas. Ili tusiweze kuwa na Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. So we must guard against the spirit of jealousy. Lazima tuchunge roho wa wivu. You cannot be in a house. Hautaweza kuwa katika nyumba. That you are jealous. Lakini wewe ni mwenye wivu of the success of your father. Na maendeleo ya baba yako. In the second chapter 28 verse 13 to 15, God began battles began in the kingdom of God. Mwisho vilianza katika ufalme wa Mungu. When Lucifer began to become jealousy of God wakati Lucifer alianza kufanyika mwenye wifu kinyume na Mungu praise the lord bwana asifiwe that is why a prideful person na ni posa ule mtu mwenye kiburi is a grateful person yeye ni mtu asiye na shukrani they dishonor those in authority wao wanakosa kuheshimu walio kwenye mamlaka when they are told anything wanapoambiwa chochote they don't take it to serious hawachukuli maana praise god bwana asifiwe you know when a man stands here wakati mwanaume anasimama hapa and say bring your tithe na anasema lete zaka yako bring your offering lete zaka yako come to church at 7 jo kanisani majira ya jioni be late usichelewe it is an authority that is being exercised ni mamlaka ambayo yanatendewa kazi jo obedience to that authority utiifu wako katika yale mamlaka determines how you will punish every disobedience yanaamua jinsi ambavyo unaweza kushinda kila roho ya kutoti praise the lord bwana asifiwe Now those that are jealous if one upon one of you they desire to be praised when they stay in the position they want to be praised and instead of 
they are senior wanataka kusifiwa katika nafasi ya wale wakubwa and even they don't say sorry when they are wrong hata hivyo hawawezi kusema pole wanapokosea that is why it is honoring your father or mentor ni posa kukosa kumheshimu baba wako umekufunza is a choice of action ni changuo la utendaji that shows serious character flaws ambalo laonyesha tabia ya kumaanisha ambayo inaendelea because character is you kwa sababu tabia ni wewe they call you wewe reputation is what people see that in the outside of you kila ambacho watu wanaona kutoka kwa sura ya character is what you are in the heart lakini tabia ni kile ulicho katika moyo wako praise the lord bwana asifiwe so people they choose who to honor hivyo watu wanachagua ni yupi wa kumheshimu you cannot match about the person unaweza kujua zaidi ya yule mtu based on what they value and who they honor juu ya kile ambacho wanadhaminia ama yule ambaye unamheshimu Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I don't know there used to be days kulikuwa na nyakati people used to call television preachers their fathers. Watu walikuwa wanawaita wale wahubiri warulinga mababa zao. I don't know if those days are still there. Sasa kama siku zile there are days lakini kuna nyakati you will say to someone kama pamoja na mtu you preach to them unamhubiria you spend the whole day with them unatumia siku nzima kwa mwanamke they are talking about another preacher in Na, Calipia lakini wanamzungumzia mhubiri mwingine kule Calipia they cannot even mention even a single thing you say in the service wewe sikunena hata jambo moja tu ulilosema kwenye ibada praise god bwana asifiwe some of us baadhi yetu our rituals sometimes define who we honor kwamba sauti zetu za singine zinaelezea ni yupi ambaye tunamheshimu rituals Sikiza tu, sikiza tu. Kristo, Bwana asifiwe. Somebody will pick a rift and sikiza. May may God punish the devil. Mungu akamwadhibu. How can you be in under a such a powerful man of God? Unawezaje chini ya mtu mwenye nguvu? You can't even pick his sound, his voice in your phone. Na uwezo kuchukua sauti yake katika simu yako. Then you never need that. Mwambie jirani yako jirani next time I, I call you wakati mwingine nitakapokupia simu I need to hear the voice of our bishop nitaji kusikia sauti ya scope wetu Mwambie usimwogope this is a serious matter Bwana asifiwe You know you cannot be different from what you honor Uwezi kuwa tofauti na kile unachokiheshimu Hello hello they are people that are taught kuna watu ambao ni unyonge you talk about them unawazungumzia you discuss about them unawaweza kuelewa about your church unaongelea wewe na wao people about the things that are happening in your church watu kwa matukio kanisani wao and by doing so kwa kutenda hivyo people will begin to see the glory of God for you wataanza kuona utukufu wa Mungu pitia kwako haleluya now those that honor you wale ambao wanakuheshimu they draw from the grace or oil out of you wanapata kutokana na neema ya mafuta hiyo you cannot draw from what you don't honor hautaweza kuchota ama kupata kutoka kwa as i used my father here as an example bosi nilipo mtumia baba yangu hapa kama mfano the possibility is uwezo kana ni him being a prophet yeye kuwa nabii the son stopped honoring him wale wana walikosa ama waliwacha kumheshimu and he died spiritually na kafa kiroho and also natural hivyo pia atakufa katika ajali ya siri bwana spesa just because a tree is still green kwa sababu mti bado ni kijani kibichi it doesn't mean it is healthy haimaanishi kwamba ni mwenye afya if the root is disconnected from the source ikiwa mizizi inatolewa kutokana na msingi it is a matter of time ni wakati tu praise god bwana asifiwe in malachi chapter 3 verse 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 number 8 katika malaki 3:8 and proverbs chapter 3:8 kethali 3:8 vile vile on the lord with thine substance mheshimu baba yako pamoja na maripokizi yako and thy fats will be filled with a new oil na kwamba viungo vya ama nyungu zako zitaweza kujaswa na mafuta mapya just because there are things that are still happening kwa sababu kuna vitu ambavyo vinatokea and you don't die 
You don't give your offering. It doesn't mean you are still with God. It is just the root that is surviving with those water. But it is a matter of time. You will dry. The best thing is to reconnect the root. Back into the source. So that you can produce fruits. Praise the Lord. People disconnect. You see, even I don't pay my tithe, but things are just working. I don't give my offering. I don't honor the pledges I say. Let me tell you, there is something that you don't know about the spirituality. God has protected you through your giving. Mungu amekulinda kupitia kutoaji wako. From certain sickness. Kutokana na maradhi fulani. You know, uh, recently, majuzi, I saw on Facebook, niliona kwenye kitandazi, a certain man with his phone. Mtu fulani pamoja na simu yake. He was sweet on more than 350 something million. Alikuwa ameporwa zaidi ya hizo fedha. And that money just disappeared like that. Hizo pesa zikaenda to hivi. They are things that God the moment you continue connected to the source because the Bible says he who abides in me out of them shall flow rivers of the living water praise the Lord so those who honor they draw from the grace but they pray for the full of contention. The prideful are full of contention. Listen to this. Protect yourself from someone that dishonors your father and dishonors you. When someone dishonors you, relationship changes. But when someone you dishonors you, things they cannot work because the moment they become familiar, they destroy the flow. So honor those in your life in a proper way. Especially those who make an impact in your life. In prayer, in word, in counseling. Let them be the first to celebrate your future. The same way they are the first to deal with your problems and regrets. Ah, we a certain lady in our, in our in a place of our church. This lady, she will call me every day. Will you pick and then pick your to solve her problem? Then she will send me a time. Now, me a zaka. She was a couple. A time. And can you me a time? I'm a credit. Is that a credit? Credit. Mia. So one time. She came to my office. This lady was carrying 3.5 million in a bag like my sister. Lift up that bag. Now, she had come with 3.5 million in that bag. For me to solve another problem. So we are sitting there. She's behaving, she's broke. Things are tied. Then she left. No, no, no. Credit. Credit. So around nine, she calls. Karibu majira ya satatu anapiga si. She says, man of God. Anasema mtu wamu. I'm in trouble. Niko kwenye shida. Wezi wa nilifamia when I left your office. Waizi wa nilifamia nilipa toka kwenye fisi yamu. And they ran away with my back. I asked her how much was in it. She said it was a lot of money. I said, no, Julie, just be faithful. She said it was 3.5 million. I said, thank God. They did not kill you. But they took the money. 
there are people who will be honest in church with their problems but not honest with their prayers. The Bible says let the elders that rule you well the first partakers of the good things. Somebody say amen. Let them that rule you well watch your be the partakers of the good things that the Lord has done for you. In fact, you must always consider if God will give me a paycheck, the first place before I spend is to pay my tithe. Then the rest must fall. Can I hear you say amen? Because the reason I'm saying is this. We allow the Philistines to come to speak to us so that we can bind our own something. So we need to understand every vision can only be effective if the man or the woman in the house their hands are liberty to execute I wish I was talking to somebody here. When the man is at liberty to execute their vision. Because we find here the Philistines, they come to Judah. You need to understand this. Judah has not been called for himself. But Samson has been anointed for Judah.
man carries God. Wakati mtu anampenda he doesn't doubt himself. Yeah yeah at at Tirisha. They came to Samson. Wakamjia Samson. When they said to Samson, wakasema kwa Samson, do you know how you that the Philistine have got power over us. The anointed man. Oh, can I tell you something? In every assembly, God anoints a man. Ay, 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 ay. God anoints a man. God doesn't anoint heads. He anoints only one head. And the oil of the head will fight for the rest of the those who in the house. I pray in this house. If there is anything that you believe in God, before this year is over, I say if there is anything, come back on a kid to the court here, minimum. In the Kabiri to your Maisayako. Come on, go on in the Kabiri. Come on, you can't see me in the Kabiri. Come on, if you said in the Kabiri. Come on, you can't see me in the Kabiri. You cannot bind the same hands that are supposed to fight for you. Always you can fund the mikono ina ina ba ina stay koko pigani. Okay, how can you? Let me understand. Why can't this ina come through? In 
inasema hauwezi funga mikono ambayo inafaa kukupigania. Hello? Hello. You know, when wakati mkwa, umai kuwa na ule sister yako ule mkubwa kwa shule. So unamkumbuka? Ule mwenye alikwenda akitokea, vinyangalika vingine mpaka mikotee. Na wewe unajifanya kielele mpaka uenda kutoka kwa sana kwa sababu utajua tu utaenda kusema na atamaliza hiyo misho. Bwana Sipesa A man that is anointed mtu aliyepakwa is anointed not to be against you amepakwa sio kwa kwa but is anointed to fight for you lakini amepakwa ili akupigania wewe but in order for this man to fight he needs hands anahitaji mikono Even if we do this up to 4 pm let's do it somebody tell your neighbor let's lose our samson yes sir wako kwa mtu nisaidie na 20000 jipu inakuanga namna gani my hands are somebody say lose samson julia samson When you decide to become stingy in this church, you make our Samson's hands to be. When you decide not to pay your time, you make the house of God to be. When you refuse to honor your pledges, you make your Samson's hands to be. Now they came down to the he came shouting now now you see the Philistines they came down and they are making noise there is a difference between power and noise they had no power but they had noise you need to understand that there is nothing there is a difference between mighty and there is a power when the spirit of God is in a place 
she don't have to shout but in a still small voice the voice of God will penetrate through so they came down to Samson oh somebody say amen they have bound him and they have taken him down oh today we are losing our Samson we are losing our Samson you know because you can say that you are losing our Samson you know because you are losing our Samson I say 
Shada Bakata, Riba Katolo Bosai, Rebe Sanda Bokota Labasaya, Rebe Sanda Bokota Labasaka. The Lord give you a breakthrough. I pray for somebody here who feels that the expectation has been cut off. May the Lord give you one breakthrough. The Lord give you one breakthrough. I pray for you today. I pray for your days. I pray for your days. I speak it to your hope. I speak it to your destiny. I speak it to your future. I speak it to everything. One breakthrough is coming. Everybody just look at me. Lift up, lift up your hands. That sister, the other sister there. Can you come? Just come. Yes, come. Rabba Sanda la Bayata la Wazaka. Makadesh, Malaba Katabo City. Rebe, rebe, rebe. Maka, this is the great. Rabba, baba, baba, baba. Rondo Poseke de Beata. My brother. That one. Come. We are with you. Rimayanda. Yakadesh Mala Makata Kobusaya. Rido Kobusanda na Bayata na Basaka. Riba Kota la Bazaka. Look at me, my sister. The Lord is saying. There is something that God is about to do in your life. I have you say, your life is being lifted to another nation. And God is saying that so long as you stay under this grace, there will be nothing that will be impossible for you. I see there are things you have been trying to push and I saw your hands stretched and the Lord spoke to me and he said I am releasing a fresh breakthrough into your heart. God says it is your season to celebrate. It is your season of new faith. It is a season that your sorrow is dying down. God says, let's move closer, move closer to the altar. Move closer. I want all of you to move closer here. This altar will work for you. God is saying, this altar will work for you. I see God ushering you into a season of divine abundance. He says from today, no more disappointment. Disappointment is here by broken. Listen to me. Continue to humble under the grace of this man of God. Because God is saying, You have not yet seen anything. You have not yet. God, I see. In fact, when I was praying, I saw you in the middle of multinational people. And the Lord said to me, I am ordaining you as an international ambassador to become a voice. What you could not achieve, you will begin to have it. The spell has been broken. Anything that was taken away from you, God is restoring it. Your money is being restored. That money is being restored in the name of Jesus. The Lord says you have been trying it with your own strength. But now it's time for your restoration. It's coming back. Anything that was taken out from you, that you labor doing your sweat, receive your restoration. Shanda, clap your hands to Jesus. Yele lebesa, takala makala makata. Rinde boseke lebe yanda, boko tala bose. God says you are anointed for greatness. The grace that is upon you. 
is the grace for nations. And the Lord says, I am positioning you in the marketplace. God will use you as a voice in both marketplace and the corporate world. From today, disappointment has here been broken. God says today, you are being restored. You are being restored. You are being restored. Are being restored. There is something that you have been dealing with about what someone did to you. Forgive and let it go. There is a healing that is coming upon you. Forgive. Let it go. There comes the power. There comes the power. There comes the power. There comes the power. You could not do it at your own strength. But the Lord's power is coming upon you. Touch in the name of Jesus. God is saying there is an infirmity in your body but today is your day for your healing God is releasing healing upon you whatever you have been struggling that sickness is here by broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Sema amen. Kila mtu nyosha mikono yenu kwake. Hii kanisa ni kanisa la uponyaji na urejesho. Upako wenye iko kwa imani ambao ni upako ya uponyaji. Wakati wa sasa hiyo kitu imekuwa inakuangama. Taka katika jina la Yesu. Ninakamata hiyo roho. Roho ya nyoka ninaikamata. Ninakamata kwa jina la Yesu. Ninafunja kila mamlaka yote ya kusimwa. Taka kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus, touch. You are here. Clap your hands to Jesus. The Bible says he stretched his hand and picked up a new job. Can I have some in your space? Before I pray for them, can I have some in your space? And I have some envelopes. Where's the phone? I've asked you. I've got a phone number. I've got a phone number. Give me plenty. You may take a phone number. I want all of us to believe God for a seed. Taka sisi wote tu mwenye mungu kumbi. Praise the Lord. How many of you are blessed? How many of you are saying this was my word? If you believe this is your word, if you want to mean it, lift up your hand before God. I wanted to pick an envelope. I'm not going to ask how much are you going to give because this is a disciplined church. But this is what I heard the Lord say. I heard the Lord say ask them to give me a seed for their fresh job on. Praise the Lord. I want you to stretch your hand to me in your giving. If you have it, you will put it in an envelope and drop it here. If you don't have it, you can bring it the course of the way. But I want you to connect to this grace of a father. Praise the Lord. I say the only mistake of that son of the prophet. He left his father. And he cried. Praise the Lord. The problems that he would have solved. It was his widow. That was running around. 
That one not be your portion. Praise the Lord. I want you to come, everybody. Just pick this envelope. If you have it, you put it, you return it here before we cross. I want you to purpose for your heart. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Let's keep coming, let's keep coming, let's keep coming with some time with your family. Just put your seed in there and drop it on this altar. If you want to write a check, you can write a check. The Lord said, listen to me, I always listen to you. He said that, ask them to give me a seed. I will show them they are fresh job on. No matter how your hands have been tied, this season, your hand will catch something. Sema amen. His season, put it there. You come and drop it here. Come quickly. I want to pray for you. The Lord spoke to me at all. There is a dimension that is releasing upon your life. And I was told, you should write down 21 days. In the next 21 days, God is going to give you a breakthrough. And I heard the voice of the Lord say, Is your season of your recovery? Whatever you have lost, you will gather it again. The Lord says, The glory that was there before. This season he will multiply and you will not be disappointed. You will be restored. There is a healing that is coming in your heart. You have been dealing with a lot of things. A lot of issues have been surrounding you. But today, the Lord is wiping off your tears. God has connected you to this old so that your destiny can be defined. Now is your time. Shalabayanda la bayata kanabakataka. Rabalaba la bala bosendi bekata la bosika takanabakaya. In the name of Jesus, we break every struggle against you. We break every bondage against you. Break it in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been eating up your family, extended family members, spirit of alcoholism, I arrest it right now. Break it in the name of Jesus. I lose your loved ones. I lose those that are connected here today. May the season of your joy begin to manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands to Jesus.
for physical. But when I was praying, the Lord asked me to pray over it. Because the person that is responsible has been holding on it. But the Lord says, as I pray now, you will receive that breakthrough. God is says, remain faithful. Remain faithful. Remain faithful. Remain faithful. God has put a special grace upon you. And out of this altar, you will experience a breakthrough and elevation you have never seen. The Lord will restore you all your losses. I see you have lost a lot of things. But God says it is not good. It is coming back. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands to Jesus. Church. Clap your hands for Bishop. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's appreciate the Apostle time. You can do it better. Those who are sitting down, rise up on your feet. What do you get to ask me? Hallelujah. I join my sin. Kofi Kaba, Lim Kono, Bobo, Ubegi Beba, I join my sin. Kofi Kaba, Lim Kono,
I am told that men have organized themselves. Ninaambiwa kwamba wanaume wamejipanga wenyewe. Amen. Amen. They will tell you shortly. Watakwambia hivi karibuni. But I'm told they have organized themselves. Ninaambiwa kwamba wamejipanga wenyewe. I like this church. Napenda hii kanisa. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Hii ni kanisa nzuri. Bwana asante sana. Hallelujah. Wow. How many of you have been ministered to? Wangapi wetu tumehudumiwa? Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Oh, praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We have been ministered to. Sisi tumehudumiwa. Give honor. Hebu kaweze kupeana heshima. Give honor. Peana heshima. Been immensely blessed. We were flying, there were going to be two. We were flying one minister from one of the countries away from here. But his passport delayed. But now we know his passport didn't delay. Ya kwamba pasipoti yake haikuchelewa tu. Jehovah had a purpose. Mungu alikuwa na kusudi. Amen. Amen. Apostle Tare, we are so grateful. Mtume Tare, tunashukurani sana. Thank you so much. Asante sana. For allowing Jehovah to use you. Kwa kuruhusu Mungu akutumie. Amen. Amen. We are so blessed. Sisi tumebarikiwa sana. As a church we are blessed. Kama kanisa tumebarikiwa. We are appreciative of God for using you this day. Nataka tushukuru Mungu kwa kutumia hivi leo. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Waacha tumpatie Bwana makofi ya sifa. We appreciate the man of God. Waacha tumshukuru mtumishi wa Mungu. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. I was supposed to be preaching in South Africa today. Nilifaa kuwa na ubiri Afrika Kusini hivi leo. And the banners are hanging over in Durban. Na mabango yamewekwa kote kule daba. But the Lord refused to me to go. Lakini Mungu alinikataza kwenda. I'm glad I'm here. Nina furaha kwamba tuko hapa. Listen to this one. Kushike, kuweza kusikia hii. To the glory of God. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu. As long to appreciate the people that God has given us. Wacha tujifunze kwa shukuru watu ambao Mungu ametupatia. Amen. Amen. We appreciate those people. Tunashukuru wale watu. And we thank God for all of you. Na tunashukuru Mungu kwa kila mmoja wenu. For coming to be with us today. Kwa kukuja kwa pamoja nasi leo. Glory to the most high God. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu aliye juu. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God. Nataka nikaweze kushukuru Mungu for allowing the men to lead us today. Kwa sababu ya kuruhusu wanaume wakaweze kutuongoza leo. Praise the Lord. I was getting some guidance because this is a men's day. So you can imagine we are hands free. <laughs> Amen. They must tell us what they want us to do. That's, That's, why. <laughs> That's why I'm consulting with them. What is their plan? What wow. is the son? Let's appreciate Pastor Beatrice as she comes. We thank God so much for you, Bishop. It has been a long time 
imekuwa muda mrefu almost 13 years kama miaka 13 hivi here with us hapo ukiwa hapo pamoja nasi and we have seen god do great things na tumeona mungu akifanya mambo makubwa we have seen you stand your ground tumeona ukisimama katika msimamo wako you have endured hardship umevumilia magumu because the lord helped you kwa sababu mungu alikusaidia and speaking on behalf of restoration in the national church na kunena kwa niaba ya kanisa hili la restoration nataka ujue that we love you and we appreciate you these people standing here these people in this church all of them we have only two types of people tuna aina mbili ya watu Uh, we have men we have ladies on this great father's day katika siku hii kuu ya kinababa the fathers have dipped their hands into their pockets baba kinababa wameweka mfuko yao eh, mikono yao kwenye mfuko and the ladies have also done the same na mabindi pia wamefanya vivyo hivyo so we want to appreciate you nataka tuwashukuru we kindly want you to stand facing this way please come in tafadhali joni There comes some people. Hapa kuna watu fulani wanakuja. Coming to you daddy. Wanakuja kwako daddy. To express our love for you. Kuonyesha upendo wao kwako. On this great Father's Day. Katika siku hii kuu ya kina baba. As people celebrate Father's in the world. Hapa kile watu wanaposherekea kina baba. We are celebrating our father. Tunasherekea baba wetu. You are also a father to Amelia. Wewe ni baba pia kwa Amelia. This young girl. Huyu msana mdogo. He's giving you the gift. Anakupatia kipawa. Yes, let's give a hand clap. Wacha tupatie makofi. And as ladies of the church we are saying, Kama kina dada wa kanisa tunasema, Hebu tumwambie nini? All the ladies in the house let's say it. Happy Father's Day. And as I say, Na vile nilivyosema, pia kuna wanaume kwenye nyumba na hii siku ya kinaba na huyo kijana ambaye pia ni mwana wako ana kupatia kile Amen. Amen. I'm giving back the meeting to you. Let's give a hand clap as Bishop comes to you. Look at me, 
Yeah, we tried this before. Let's let's turn it up. Wow. 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 I want I want us to do something very quickly. Nataka tufanye kitu kwa haraka. I want you to to sing that song again with us. Aija wa rais. Si kuimba tu wimbo. Nilimba na kumaanisha. Amen. Thank you for rais. Thank you pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sing it again. Wacha tuimbe tena. Aija wa rais. Kufika hapa niko no wa You commanded Moses and said, "William, Richard, Musa, and Kumambia." This is how you bless the offering of the children of Israel. He will be able to come over here. Kisa daka wana was ready. The children have given. What to talk about? What to talk? Paid their tithes. Meli pafungula la kumi. Given their thanksgiving. Mapea na shukrani zao. On this great Father's Day. Katika siku hii kuu ya kina baba. I now exercise the grace over this office. Wai bona tumia neema katika hii afisi. And I speak a blessing now. Over every tither, Father, Baba, rebuke every devourer in our lives. Atika mashaye tu. In the name of the Lord, we speak a blessing over the offerings. We pray for blessing over those who have given. May they never lack anything good. Wasikose chochote kizuri. Father, we thank you. Baba, toku shukuru. We honor you. Toku eshimu. In Jesus' name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Watiwa na makofi ya sifa. 
the relays of the old katika nyakati za kitambo in the Jewish culture katika desturi za kiyahudi it was the father who pronounced a blessing upon the family ilikuwa ni baba aliyekuwa anatangaza baraka juu ya jamii and now that we are here na sasa kwa sababu tuko hapa on this day katika siku ya kinabao i exercise that grace natumia hiyo neema and i pronounce you blessed in the name of the lord and nakutangaza umebarikiwa katika jina la bwana i pronounce you blessed in the city nakutangaza umebarikiwa mjini i pronounce you blessed up country nakutangaza umebarikiwa mashambani i decree divine health upon you natangaza afya ya kiungu juu yako whatever you touch hilo naguza may it prosper wacha kifanikiwe the lord shut every window bwana afunge kila dirisha of affliction against you ya mateso kinyume chako God cause you to prosper. Mungu akusababishe ufanikiwe. Will shine his face over you. Angaze uso wako kwa kosi to arise. Na kusababishe uinuke. In the name of the Father. Kwa jina la Baba. Na la Son. Na la Mwana. Na la Holy Ghost. Na roho mtakatifu. Imetendeka. In Jesus name. E katika jina la Yesu. Asante sana. Hallelujah church let us appreciate our bishop Amen 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 Bwana asifiwe Kwa hakika inakuwa ya baraka Bwana asifiwe Na kule nilikotoka niliambiwa mahali kuna mzee Nyumba iliyo na mzee Nyumba ambayo ukiingia unajua utatoka ukiwa sawa Auta to auta tena denye mlioingia. Lazima utashughulikiwa. Bwana asifiwe. Lazima utafanye utashughulikiwa ili kuwe heshima pia kwa yule mzee. Kwa hivyo siku hii ikiwa ni siku yetu ya baba kwa baba. Na tunaheshimu kila mmoja wetu. Kama wa baba tunashughulika. Tunachakula tena katika nyumba ya Bwana leo. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Am ta frai. Am ta frai. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Na tutakula tena katika nyumba ya Bwana leo. Kwa hivyo na wasihi kwa neema zake Bwana. Tafadhali. Na kutoka hapa niko nao tu mkono mchukua sahani kuhudumia. Na usiwe na haraka. Kuna ushirika katika mlo. Ushiriki na mwenzako mkae mahali mshiriki pamoja kwa furaha. Ndeliwa kwa ajili yetu zote tuweze kufurahia kwa baraka hizi Mungu ambazo anatukirimia. Bwana asifiwe. Let's share the grace as we come to the end of our service. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. Amen.